The stock market is a dynamic and ever-changing entity, subject to cycles of expansion and contraction. These market cycles are driven by a combination of economic factors, investor sentiment, and market psychology. As an investor, it is essential to understand these cycles and develop strategies to navigate them effectively. Welcome to Money Mindset, where we provide educational resources on money, personal finance, and investing. In this video, we will explore the different phases of the stock market cycle and discuss approaches to manage your investments during each phase. If you're serious about enhancing your financial future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video if it was helpful to you. Accumulation Phase It is characterized by a general atmosphere of low stock prices, often accompanied by prevailing pessimism and fear among investors. During this phase, astute investors who possess the ability to identify the potential for future growth seize the opportunity to accumulate stocks at favorable prices. To navigate the accumulation phase successfully, investors often rely on fundamental analysis to assess the intrinsic value of companies. By studying financial statements, evaluating industry trends, and analyzing market conditions, they aim to identify undervalued stocks with the potential for significant appreciation in the future. This analytical approach allows investors to make informed decisions and select promising investments that may yield substantial returns over the long term. One key attribute that proves invaluable during the accumulation phase is patience. Market sentiment can take time to shift, and stock prices may not immediately reflect their true value. Investors who possess the ability to maintain a long-term perspective and resist the temptation of short-term gains are better positioned to navigate this phase successfully. During the accumulation phase, it is important to remember that the market gradually moves towards the next phase. While stock prices may remain low and investor sentiment may persistently lean towards negativity, it is crucial to have confidence in the potential for future growth. By maintaining a disciplined investment approach, taking advantage of market opportunities, and staying focused on long-term goals, investors can position themselves favorably for the next stages of the market cycle. Bull Market Phase this phase often aligns with a flourishing overall economy, characterized by a healthy growth trajectory and strong corporate profits. As investors witness substantial capital gains, it becomes tempting to chase high returns and embrace a euphoric sentiment. However, it is crucial to exercise caution and avoid succumbing to overconfidence during the bull market phase. While the upward momentum is enticing, prudent investors recognize the importance of implementing a disciplined investment strategy. By adhering to a well-defined plan, investors can navigate the opportunities and challenges that arise in this phase. Diversification is a key principle to bear in mind during the bull market phase. Allocating investments across a variety of sectors, industries, and asset classes can help mitigate risks and protect against potential downturns. This approach helps ensure that even if specific stocks or sectors experience setbacks, the overall portfolio remains resilient. Periodically rebalancing your portfolio is another crucial step to manage risk effectively during the bull market phase. As certain investments outperform others, it is important to readjust the allocation to maintain a desired risk profile. This practice prevents the portfolio from becoming excessively skewed towards a single asset class or sector and helps capture profits while managing potential vulnerabilities. Maintaining a level-headed perspective is paramount during this phase. The bull market can create a sense of invincibility, leading investors to make impulsive decisions or chase speculative opportunities without conducting thorough due diligence. By remaining grounded and sticking to a well-thought-out investment strategy, investors can navigate the bull market phase with prudence and discipline, ensuring long-term success while managing risks effectively. Distribution Phase After a sustained period of growth, the bull market eventually reaches its peak and transitions into the distribution phase. This phase is marked by several notable characteristics, including a slowdown in economic growth, a heightened sense of caution among investors, and an increase in speculative behavior within the market. As the distribution phase unfolds, market participants begin selling their holdings to secure profits, leading to a gradual decline in stock prices. During this phase, it becomes crucial for investors to reassess their portfolio's risk exposure and make appropriate adjustments. One prudent approach is to consider reducing positions in stocks that have become overvalued or have reached unsustainable levels. By taking profits from these positions, investors can safeguard their capital and potentially allocate it towards assets that exhibit more favorable risk-reward profiles. Preserving capital becomes a primary focus during the distribution phase. As stock prices decline, it is essential to adopt a defensive mindset and protect gains that have been achieved during the preceding bull market. 
implementing risk management strategies, such as utilizing stop-loss orders or employing trailing stops, can be instrumental in protecting profits and limiting potential losses. These tools allow investors to automatically sell a security if it reaches a predetermined price, safeguarding gains, and mitigating the impact of downward price movements. Moreover, maintaining a diversified portfolio remains crucial during the distribution phase. By spreading investments across various sectors, industries, and asset classes, investors can minimize the impact of any single investment's decline. Diversification helps mitigate risk and ensures that the portfolio remains resilient, even during times of market turbulence. It is important to note that the distribution phase does not necessarily imply an imminent market crash or a permanent decline in stock prices. Rather, it signifies a shift in market dynamics and investor sentiment. By actively monitoring market conditions, staying informed about economic indicators, and implementing a disciplined investment approach, investors can navigate the distribution phase with prudence and agility, positioning themselves for potential opportunities that may arise in the subsequent market cycles. Bear Market Phase The bear market phase is a challenging period that follows the distribution phase. It is characterized by a prolonged decline in stock prices, accompanied by prevailing pessimism and fear among investors. Economic indicators often signal a slowdown or recession, further contributing to the negative sentiment within the market. During this phase, it is crucial for investors to maintain a calm and composed approach. Panic selling can lead to substantial losses and hinder long-term financial goals. Instead, adopting defensive strategies becomes paramount. One such strategy involves shifting focus towards investments that offer stability and income generation. Stable dividend-paying stocks, for instance, can provide a regular stream of income even amidst the market turmoil. Additionally, bonds and other fixed-income securities often become more attractive during the bear market phase. These assets typically offer steady returns and act as a hedge against declining stock prices. Allocating a portion of the portfolio to such assets can help cushion the impact of the market downturn. It is important to note that the bear market phase also presents opportunities for investors who are willing to identify quality companies at discounted prices. As stock prices decline, fundamentally strong companies may become undervalued, providing a potential buying opportunity. Conducting thorough research and due diligence to identify these companies can prove advantageous in the long run. Accumulating stocks of such companies during the bear market phase positions investors to benefit from their eventual recovery when market conditions improve. Furthermore, alternative assets, such as real estate, commodities, or precious metals, may also play a role in a defensive strategy during the bear market. These assets often demonstrate lower correlation with stock market movements and can serve as a diversification tool to mitigate risks during turbulent times. It is crucial to remember that the bear market phase is a cyclical part of the market's natural ebb and flow. While it may be challenging, maintaining a long-term perspective and staying focused on your investment objectives is crucial. By strategically employing defensive strategies, identifying discounted opportunities, and staying informed about market trends, investors can navigate the bear market phase with resilience, positioning themselves for potential growth in the subsequent market cycles. Recovery Phase In the recovery phase, the market begins to stabilize, and signs of economic improvement become evident. Stock prices, which had previously experienced a decline during the bear market, start to show resilience and demonstrate more stability. As investor sentiment gradually improves, opportunities arise for investors to capitalize on attractive valuations in the market. During this phase, investors may consider reallocating their portfolios towards growth-oriented assets. As the economy shows signs of recovery, sectors that were previously impacted heavily during the bear market may present promising prospects for growth. By identifying industries and companies with strong fundamentals and growth potential, investors can position themselves for potential capital appreciation. However, it is crucial to exercise caution and avoid getting carried away by early signs of recovery. Market recoveries can be volatile, and it is important to adopt a balanced approach to portfolio management. Diversifying investments across various sectors and asset classes helps spread risk and reduces vulnerability to any single investment. Thorough research is paramount during the recovery phase. By conducting diligent analysis of companies and industries, investors can make informed decisions and identify opportunities that align with their investment objectives. Examining financial statements, evaluating market trends, and staying up to date with relevant news and economic indicators are essential steps in the decision-making process. Furthermore, it is important to remain mindful of the overall economic conditions and any potential risks that may persist during the recovery phase. 
Factors such as inflation, interest rates, and geopolitical events can influence market dynamics. By staying informed and adapting investment strategies accordingly, investors can navigate the recovery phase with greater confidence. It is worth noting that the recovery phase presents a unique window of opportunity for investors, but it is crucial to maintain a long-term perspective. Timing the market perfectly is challenging, and it is important to remember that market cycles are a natural part of the investment landscape. By adopting a patient and disciplined approach, diversifying investments, conducting thorough research, and staying informed, investors can navigate the recovery phase with prudence and position themselves for potential growth in the subsequent market cycles.